Hello and welcome to another C Sharp coding homework exercise in Windows Forms. In this exercise, we are going to create a small mass and weight uh, application. It says that scientists measure an object's mass in kilograms and its weight in newtons. If you know the amount of mass of an object, you can calculate its weight in newtons with the following formula weight equals mass multiplied by 9.8. We are to create an application that lets the user enter an object's mass and then calculate its weight. But if the object's weight uh, more than 1000 newtons, we should display a message indicating that it's too heavy. And if it's uh, less than 10 newtons, then a message that uh, it's too light. I already created a form, small form that the user enters uh, the object's mass. We click calculate and we calculate the object's weight. I also have a f uh, oops. I also have a label here that we will use to display the message when the object is uh, weights too uh, little or too much. Instead of a message box, we will display it right on the form. All right, so uh, let's get coding. I'll double click the button, and um, we can uh, we can create a constant of 9.8 because that's the uh, constant that we multiply in the formula instead of coding it directly there we can use it as a variable so constant double and uh, I'll call it constant equals 9.8 and now we can uh, capture the user input and we have to make sure that it's a uh, number and that the user didn't enter invalid characters so we are going to uh, capture it using a uh, try parse so i'm going to create a variable of uh, double because the user may enter decimals i'll, I'll call it uh, this is the mass and i'll initialize it to zero and now we can do the try parse uh, and assign it to mass if the uh, parsing passes if it's a uh, if user enters valid input we will pass that information to a variable mass otherwise we will display a message saying that the user entered invalid input so let's uh, create the if statement if in our double dot try parse and we are passing the uh, information from the text box that the user enters the mass so it's gonna be txt mass.txt and if it passes if it's a double then out goes to mass and our variable mass will now hold the value from the text box however if it's invalid if the user didn't enter a valid number then we can display a message box that show invalid or something like please enter a valid number and as the uh, name for the windows we will do invalid input that's gonna be the text to display in the message box okay so uh, that happens when the uh, when the input is uh, not valid but if it is valid we can perform the calculation so the formula is uh, weight equals mass times 9.8 so uh, we can create a variable we could create a variable uh, uh, up here with all the others or we could create it within the if statement because uh, it's going to be used only if the value uh, that the user entered is valid input so we can do that so a double and uh, weight equals the mass multiplied by the constant which we have in a variable constant and we can now display the result of the calculation in our text box so txt weight dot text equals the weight and we can uh, do the weight to string and format it to a number with two decimal places 
with a lowercase n and 2. So that displays the weight, but now we have to also check whether the weight is over 1000 or less than 10 and display appropriate message for that. So if it's over 1000, then uh, we'll display that it's too heavy. So uh, we can do another if statement uh, within this one. So if the weight is greater than 1000, then we'll display a message uh, in our label. So we will do LBL warning that text equals the weight is too heavy or the object is too heavy. The, sorry, object is too heavy. And uh, we can do else if the weight is less than 10, then we can do a warning. So it'll be a warning that text, the object is too light. And if it's uh, neither of these, then nothing happens. We will do if statement, if it's over 1000 or less than 10, if it's in between, then uh, no warning is going to be uh, displayed. So let's run it. So we multiply by 9.8, so let's do one. So if it's one multiplied by 9.8, it should be too light. And the object is too light, but the form is too short for the, for the message. I have the label misplaced. So what's, if I do thousand, which is gonna be too heavy, and it says too heavy. But when I do uh, five, that should be okay. But it still says that it's too heavy because that's the message displayed from the previous calculation. So we have to take care of that as well. So first, I'm going to my form. I'm gonna find my label here and I'm gonna position it, uh, if I can grab it, to the left. But also, every time the button is click, we have to clear the label box. So the warning message from the previous calculation, if there was any, is uh, cleared. So uh, I'm going to do LBL warning that text actually dot clear. I'm sorry, text equals empty. So now when I run it, let's do one again. Now it says the object is too light because it's 9.8. If I do 1000, then it says it's too heavy bec because it's uh, over 1000. And if I do uh, 10, then it's OK and the label is gone. If I do another OK, which is 980, it's still OK. The label doesn't show. But again, if I do 1000, now it says that it's too heavy. So now it's working properly. OK, so this is a, a little short application. Again, remember to clear the text box, uh, the, the label, because it displays the text uh, from the previous uh, clicks if there was uh, any warning message and it doesn't clear it automatically you have to take care of that yourself and here we simply go into our if statement check whether the user entered a valid number if not we'll display an error message and if the number uh, if the user entered a valid number we will perform the calculation and based on the result, we'll display the warning message if necessary. So uh, this is the application. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.